What's up, my dudes? This question gets brought up multiple times a month and I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have an answer because I don't have one yet. It's multiple times. I'm like, what, 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 what do you even mean? What do you mean? And that's okay because you have to realize people get new homes. They've never mowed a lawn. Yardbra, how do you mow a lawn? Okay, let's do it. Over my couple years of lawn care journey action, I have really figured out how to keep it clean, have a mowing schedule, and the way I do it keeps it healthy, keeps it growing, and keeps it wanting to just thrive for you. So I'll show you exactly how I do it, and maybe you can apply this practice to your current situation, or if you just don't know how to mow a lawn, this is the easiest way. You're gonna need a couple things, just three things actually. A lawn mower, a string trimmer, and a blower. That's it. That's it, you can start off with that. If you're just starting off and you have to go to a store and buy something, start off with this. Now this is how I do it. I start with mowing first. Let me give you an example. At the barber shop, do they line you up and then cut your hair? Or do they cut your hair and then line you up to make it look nice? No, you can do it both ways. I'm not saying this is the right way. You know, this is just another version of it. You can definitely start off by trimming everything first and then going back and then mowing and then blowing. <laughs> but for me, I mow first. So let's talk about the mower itself. Depends on your grass type, depends on how tall your grass is right now. My lawn is 100% perennial rye. I cut it short. Right now I'm cutting it at about one inch. It really depends on your grass type. If your lawn is just super long already, go ahead and just raise it up to the highest setting. One thing people do is they just cut their lawn all the way down to the bottom. There is a thing called the one third rule where you shouldn't be taking off more than a third of the blade of the grass. That pertains to if you've already been maintaining your lawn and it's a little bit healthier. But if you're just starting off, if it's super long, go ahead and cut it at the tallest setting and then go from there. So first, raise it up. You don't put it all the way down. You're just gonna mess up what you already have. So start with that. Start with going all the way high. And then if you see the grass blades in the middle, if it's not too light, go ahead and you can do a second pass a little bit lower. For me, I like to just trim the tips once it's maintained. But if you're just starting off, go ahead and raise that mower deck up. How about the pattern of cut? Well, that doesn't really matter at the beginning. Go ahead and just cut everything. Follow whatever lines you gotta follow to make sure that you're cutting everything evenly. Over the course of time, you're gonna wanna switch up your patterns. That way you don't create wheel marks and ruts is what they call them. You'll eventually have really uneven and bumpy lawn. You don't wanna do that. Then you have to fix it and level it, blah, blah, blah. And I'll show you guys what I do normally. I just follow this pattern here of the garden bed all the way down, and then I come back again next to it. And I go a little bit over the line. That way I'm cutting again over that line and I'm not creating just smushing down the grass. It's very simple. Let's just get to it and I'll show you. I'll go ahead and show you this. You can see I cut my first pass. Now, also, go ahead and start just getting used to bagging everything for now. Until you start getting a regular mowing schedule, bag everything so it picks everything up, especially with leaves in the fall. You wanna pick all that stuff up. You don't wanna cause any more, you know, disease and things like that. But here's what I'm talking about. Here's the first cut, right? I put the wheel a little bit over just so it gets this, and I'll do that again over here when I, when I come back. It's kind of overlapping your pattern. Now this is just gonna create a nice even surface for us, and then we'll go from there. As you can see, everything is now even. You have an even playing field. Everything is cut perfect because you kind of overlapped your pattern. And this is just a wavy, let me just get started pattern. Just following everything, everything, you know, nice and even. So I'll hit the sides as well. So first I'll do the main, then I'll hit the sides and sidewalk area. Oh, the walking pattern as well. Nice, slow, steady. No need to rush through it. If you start going too fast or if you, you know, if your lawn's not very even, you're going to create different height of cuts. You're just going to be all over the place. Keep it nice and slow. Just monitor what you're missing. And this is the first pass, which is good enough. But then I also do, well, <laughs> to make it look really nice, I do a second pass 
with like a real mower. That's a whole different story. We'll just keep it really simple for now. Now, like I said, bag your stuff. I'm gonna bag these leaves real quick and then we'll go from there. Same for the sidewalks. I just follow the line. Now you might just have just a rectangular shape lawn. You know, you can make straight lines. Or if you have this, I mean, this is what I'm showing you, but I'll show you how to do straight lines as well after this. Again, I follow these lines, overlap just a little bit, so you're getting an even cut. As you can see, it's already fairly clean. And most people just stop right here and then that's it, right? But you have to do more. Now, earlier we talked about different patterns you can do. So I did the wavy lines. I followed the direction of the garden bed as well as the fence line and just the curvature of everything. But then you can also just hit it up straight down and then back. On your second cut, you don't want to overlap because this is going to make it look a little bit better, right? Just go down straight and come back straight. Now at this point you already bagged the longer grass and you can take the bag off and to get those epic lawn stripes like you see at baseball games or even football games you need a roller. Okay you put this on the back of your rotary mower and then it'll create those stripes. Now you're gonna go down and then come back and you're not gonna overlap this time. Let me show you. Take off your bag. Put on the mulching blocker. Then I install my rear roller. There you go. Watch this. Let's create some stripes. Oh yeah, keep it at the same height of cut too. Don't change the height adjustments. That's not how you get stripes. put you guys on this other side so you can stress better. This is totally unnecessary. You don't need to do this step. This is just to, you know, kind of show off. You did your first, now you did your second pass. You're gonna do a third pass called burning it in. You're gonna press the grass down even more. Check this out. I'm just showing you like, you know, different things to do while you're cutting your lawn. But we have fun in this, in this hobby. So you can do a bunch of things. That was completely unnecessary. You don't need to do that. But again, if you want to show off, make some stripes in your lawn. Next step, let's move on. The next thing I do is I string trim and edge all around and I follow that pattern again. I get the edges here, follow the fence line. I'll get the trees, I'll get these little manholes around this little pipe, and I'll just do that first. Okay, so let's do that first and I'll show you after. Couple things, wear eye protection, that's a must. Another thing too, here's the string trimmer. I don't string trim like this. I give it a little bit of a tilt towards the front. That way you're not chopping up the back of the, of the turf. You feel me? As you can see, looking a little too good, right? But we're not done. You see these edges? You're gonna turn your strimmer, string trimmer upside down like this. Keep it normal, upside down. Right. And then you're gonna follow all the edges, the sidewalks, all that good stuff. I usually start from the front and work my way back. 
<laughs> I've never done this. I just mow it for you guys. All right, check this out. landscapers mowing too so pardon the noise now that you have mowed and string trimmed the entire property it looks fantastic doesn't it now you're gonna take your blower and blow everything onto the street into a pile if you don't have an alley like I do where I compost the stuff on the side <laughs> go ahead and blow everything all the way towards wherever you're gonna pile it up and pick it up. Let's do that. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sirree, Bob. And it's that simple. That's how you mow a lawn. <laughs> you're gonna wanna mow, and then you're gonna wanna edge, and then you're gonna wanna blow everything off. Look at, there's no more leaves. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Clean, easy, peasy. Where do you go from here? You're gonna wanna do this weekly, once a week at least. Where can you go after this? You can put down some fertilizer. That way in the next week, you have a nice thick lawn. What do I recommend? Put down some Melorganite. It's a slow release fertilizer that's gonna feed your lawn as it needs it. And it also doesn't need to be watered in. You can wait till the next morning to water your lawn. I don't recommend watering after you mow, in the evening at least. If you're mowing in the morning, go ahead and, you know, fertilize and water. As for me, I like to backpack spray liquid fertilizer. After I mow, I do a weekly fertilizer. I mow multiple times a week, so I'm a different story. I do a weekly spoon feeding of my lawn and I put down some fertilizer and then I water it in. Now for me, I put down a bunch of disease preventer so I can water at night and I really don't see disease, so it's great, but that's another story. Guys, that's how I mow my lawn. I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize now. You guys are awesome for watching. Thanks so much. You're amazing. You're the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.